Welcome to RamblinWreck.com. Georgia Tech gets ready to meet Utah in the Sun Bowl on December 31st in El Paso, Texas. And one of the guys that will put a gold helmet on for the final time is Steven Sylvester. I guess you think about that a little bit, don't you? Oh, yeah. It, it definitely crosses your mind, you know. Uh, to, to be here four years and have a chance to play a bowl game for your last game, especially against a team like Utah, it's going to be exciting. Um, what did you think when you heard Sun Bowl, El Paso, Texas, and Utah? Not necessarily in that order. Uh, to be honest, the only thing I could think about was Mexican food. You know, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Mexican food, and that, that, that definitely clicked in my mind when I heard El Paso. I knew that was kind of close, so I was really excited to get out there. I've never been to San Antonio before, or El Paso, excuse me, but uh, it's going to be fun. All right. Now, you've moved around quite a bit because your dad was in the service, mm -hmm. uh, but never in Texas? Oh, no, sir. We... Uh, Started off in Alabama, that's where I was born. We moved to a couple of places in Alabama. I ended up in Washington State for a little while, and then we made that however long drive to Georgia, and that's where I've been ever since. But you gotta think now, of all the people that have been in the armed forces as long as your dad was, mm -hmm. to never live in Texas, take some doing, right? Because there are all sorts of installations all over the state. Yes, sir. I believe before I was born, he was there a little bit, so I, so I just <laughs> missed out, just missed out. <laughs> um, Coach Johnson, with maybe a couple weeks to go in the regular season, talked about the importance of winning a bowl game. Mm -hmm. When he started out with that message, what did you think? A, we hadn't won one. B, we really need to win this. Or was there something else? Um, definitely both of those things came to mind. But uh, more importantly for the guys next year, you know, winning the bowl game this year is certainly springboards them, gives them a lot of confidence, a lot of things to work towards in the offseason. So to, to be able to get this one would be big for the guys next year. You're playing a team, obviously, that's very talented. Mm -hmm. um, maybe one of the best run defenses in the country. In fact, I think the end of the ball game is the eighth best run defense in, in college football. The offense has struggled at times here in the last six ball games. Uh, what have you seen stand on the sidelines with our offense that will need to be better on December 31st? You know, it, it's been a block away, j just, just little things, small assignments. But thankfully, we have a lot of time before we have to play Utah. You know, there's a lot of time to get those things ironed out. I'm confident that Coach Johnson and Coach Bohan will get those guys going right. So it's going to be exciting. Defensively, it didn't go well for you guys mm -hmm. the last few ball games. What do you guys have to do against Utah? Um, pretty much the same thing. Stick to our assignments. You know, a lot of guys being out of place trying to do too much. You know, we have a saying on the team 111. Everybody doing their 111th, not trying to do too much and not doing too little. So if everybody can come out there and do their 111th, I'm confident. This has been an interesting year um, to start 6-0 and and then to win just two of the last six. Mm -hmm. Has it been emotional? Steven? Oh, yeah, without a doubt, because uh, any time you start off 6-0, and you automatically start thinking BCS Bowl, you know, ACC Championship, Orange Bowl, and potentially National Championship if, if things, things kind of play out right. But uh, when you hit a skid, it kind of takes a shot on your confidence, but that's when you had to come together as a team, you know, and uh, band together and try to make something happen. How different has this year been from a year ago or maybe even any of the previous three teams you've been on? Um, I, I'd say we kind of came in. And a lot of people didn't expect us to have as much success as we did. Not mm -hmm. saying that 8-4 and four is the season that we would have hoped for a regular season, but, you know, it, it gave us a chance to kind of pull together in the offseason and kind of challenge each other. And I was, like I said, 8-4 and four is never where you, where you want to finish, but uh, it, it's definitely moving in the right direction. Are you proud of this team? Oh, definitely, without a doubt. We, we talk every day, and I wouldn't trade any of those guys for the world down there. And it's a little bit of what happened last year and what this year has become, right? Mm-hmm, definitely. What, what was the turning point this year? Um, because it could have been last year again, which was a struggle and a fight and didn't end well, and everybody knows it. Right. But you guys wouldn't let that happen for some reason. Yes, sir. Um, I'd say it, was, it started in the off season. You know, we kind of held each other accountable for, for whatever was going on, whether it had been workout, seven on seven. You know, there, there was no drop off, you know, not to say that we didn't have great leadership last year, but it kind of came from every position this year. You had guys that could go out and, and speak up and be vocal at any time. So it, it's good to have that on a team. <clears throat> All right, let's get down to some, some brass tacks here. Since it is El Paso, favorite Mexican food? I have to go with burritos. Definitely burritos. Chicken, steak? I like a good steak burrito. Yeah? Just cheese and salsa? or I go cheese, salsa, usually a little corn, some jalapeno, maybe lettuce, tomato. Mm. Sour cream thrown in there every now and then. Um, favorite Western movie? Oh, wow. Oh, man. There's so many. My mom loves these. I'd probably have to go The Quick and the Dead. The Quick and the Dead? Nice. Yeah. 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 Old school. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
favorite country western singer? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, you may you may have thrown one at me here, but I'm going to go with Garth Brooks. Nice. Yeah, definitely go with Garth Brooks. That's why he's a senior. Can answer all the questions, even the hard ones. That's Stephen Sylvester.